Well, thank you. Thanks again for inviting me back. Um, my daughter, Kylie, is a graduate of John Harris Elementary. And uh, she was your age just yesterday. And today, she's 25 years old. Uh, and so this life that we're on, this journey that we're on, it goes by very, very quickly. Uh, but I still remember those days of, of John Harris. Uh, I do. I remember those days, and, and uh, they were very, very special. Uh, one of the things that I remember about John Harris the most is that uh, Kylie, my wife Cindy, and I, we had moved back to South Dakota uh, from a city called San Antonio. Uh, anybody know where San Antonio is at? S yes. Texas. It's in Texas. That's exactly right. Uh, it's in Texas, and uh, we had moved back to, uh, to South Dakota. And you know what it's like when you go to a new place, uh, a new school, uh, uh, you're on a new football team, uh, you go to a new a church school class, whatever it would be. You know you always feel a little what? <coughs> Uncomfortable. <coughs> scared. Uh, you know, just, just not, not knowing you know, how are people going to treat me. Well, when um, Kylie, Cindy, and I, when we moved back to S South Dakota, Kylie was uh, coming back into a school where she really didn't know anybody. Uh, and, and she was. She was, she was scared. Uh, she was anxious. Uh, she, she just didn't know what to expect. Well, this school welcomed her with open arms. And uh, because of that, I'll never forget that. And I'll always be very, very thankful. And so if you ever need me to come back to this school for anything, you let me know, uh, OK? And then also, if somebody new comes into your school, uh, comes into John Harris, will you do me a favor? Treat them the way that Kylie was treated, uh, if you don't mind. You know, welcome them. Because they're, they're, they're feeling funny. They're feeling anxious. They're feeling scared. So that new kid or that new student who comes in, go up and say, hey, how are you? I'm, I'm Mike, or, or I'm Lois, or I'm Jenny, or I'm Kylie, or I'm what. Welcome them. Uh, you just can't imagine the, the difference that, that, that that'll make. And uh, hey, I understand Harrison is uh, going to introduce me. Is that right? Harrison, get up here. Come on. Uh, Speaking of getting to know somebody or meeting somebody, I am actually having uh, uh, a meal at this new hotel and new restaurant in our town. And uh, we were just having a nice time, and all of a sudden I, I, there was this family uh, that was over in a table. And uh, uh, would you mind sharing the story? What happened next? Okay, so my dad said that was the mood. <coughs> And I went over to his table and um, said hi to him and asked him if he would come to John Harris and speak to us. And what did I say? Yeah. Yeah, okay, very good. <laughs> and, and, and that took some, that took some guts to do that uh, because Harris and I, we did not know each other. But I, I think that you'll find that when you're in Sioux Falls, when you're in South Dakota, when you're at John Harris, the odds are very, very good that if you're nice to somebody, what's going to happen in return? Yes, yeah, son? <coughs> They're going to be nice right back. So all of a sudden, here's Harrison. He comes up. Sorry, did I hit you too hard? Uh, here, Harrison comes up and says, hey, uh, you know, I understand you're the mayor. Just want to introduce myself and uh, wanted to see if, if um, uh, you know, maybe I could come to your, to your class and, and get to know you better, Harrison, but also get to know your classmates better as well. So that's how we ended up together. Isn't that kind of cool? I love it. I love it. So, uh, Harrison, I mean, uh, I, I got to, we'll, we'll do, we'll, we'll, I'll tell you a little bit about my story uh, today, but at the same time, I want to answer questions for you as well, okay? And the questions can be on all kinds of different topics, but uh, Harrison, since you were the, you got me here, uh, do you have a question for me? You do not. Okay. <laughs> if you think of one, will you uh, will you let me know? Yeah. 
Very good, very good. Hey, I'm going to do, I, I want to do something, though, before Harrison leaves, okay? Um, Harrison, will you go over there? Go over there real quick. Okay, okay. and I'm over here. I'm over here. And, and let's just say that uh, uh, Harrison and, and I were at the, where are we at, Harrison? Where, where should we be? Um, I don't know. Football game, or are we at the mall? Where are we at? Football. We're at a football game. Okay, we're at a football game, and I've never met Harrison before, and let's just say we're both going to get um, some popcorn and a, and a soda at the, at the football game. Well, all of a sudden I see Harrison's walking towards me, and, and I'm walking towards Harrison, and we're just walking down the hallway, and all of a sudden, uh, hi, how are you? I'm Mike. I'm Harrison. Nice to meet you, Harrison. Nice to meet you, Mike. That was really good. That was really good. And we didn't even practice that. That was really good. He almost did it uh, to the point where I'd say it was, it was almost perfect. There were a couple things I want him to work on, okay? And, and, but but he, got, he got a lot of it right, okay? But I'm going to do it again, and let's see, how, let's see how he does this time. And then I'm going to tell you some of the things that I, I wish he'd improve on, okay? We're at the football game. We're both going to get what? Popcorn. Popcorn and a soda. I've never met Harrison before, so we're just kind of walking down, and all of a sudden I, I see him and, Hi, I'm Mike. Nice to meet you, Mike. I'm Harrison. Nice to meet you too, Harrison. Nice to meet you. That was pretty good. Here's some of the things that I'd like you to remember, okay? First of all, whether you are a girl or a, bo or a boy, <laughs> um, you are a man or a woman, a couple of things. First of all, when we shake hands, Harrison immediately has to look down and he needs to make good contact with me and he needs to get in there good. Good and tight, okay? Good and tight. And uh, young ladies in the room, firm handshake, okay? Not just the young men, young ladies, firm handshake, okay? Remember that. Then, also, he, he, he did some good things. Uh, but there's one thing that, that I wish he would work on better, and that is his eyes need to look where? Into my eyes. He needs to pay attention to me. That, makes, that means he actually cares. It also means that he's confident, uh, and, and it means that he, he wants to get to know me, okay? So Harrison's going to work on that, but there were some good things that he did. He not, not only did I say, hi, I'm Mike, he said, hi, I'm Harrison, and I said, nice to meet you, Harrison, and he said, nice to meet you, Mike. Right, right. And when he, when he said, nice to meet you, Mike, that was really, really important for me. Because it made me feel special. It, made me, it means that he actually took the time, he made the effort to actually listen to me and to care enough to repeat my name. Okay? But there's also something else that it does. It helps him what? Anybody want to take a guess? Very, oh, very good. Come on, you're next. Very good. It, it helps... It helps him to remember my name and it helps me to remember his name. So that was really, really good. So Harrison, again, thanks for welcoming me here to John Harris, my friend. You're welcome. Thank you. Say hi to your family. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Mike. Nice to meet you, Abby. Oh, very good. Everybody. Very good. Very good. Good confidence. Good confidence. Looked in my eye. Good firm handshake, Abby. You're, you're strong. I love it. Uh, uh, now, Abby, do you, have, do you have a question for me? Oh, very good. Uh, Abby asked how many children I have. Um, I've got my daughter, Kylie. Uh, I do. And um, I'm very blessed by her. I, Kylie graduated from John Harris Elementary, then went to Patrick Henry, then was a Washington warrior, then went to, uh, went to college at uh, College of St. Benedict, St. John's University uh, in Minnesota. And she ended up studying what was called a public policy and peace studies, okay? Uh, and very, 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 very proud of her. Um, and here's kind of a little scoop for you. She's gonna get married. Uh, she's gonna get married. And I'm pretty excited. Come on, I'm the dad. I'm pretty excited. Uh, but she's going to get married, and uh, the wedding 
uh, is right after this upcoming Thanksgiving. So I'm really, and, and I love the boy uh, that she's, uh, that she's going to marry. Uh, his name is David. And he's a Minnesota boy, so I'm, 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 I, I love how he takes care of Kylie. Uh, I love how he loves her, and I think they'll make uh, you know, a great couple. Uh, so I've got, I've got one, one daughter. And I have a cat, too. We have a cat, too. Okay? Cat named Winnie. And uh, then uh, my wife and I, uh, Cindy, we've been married 28 years. Uh, been married 28 years. So nice to meet you, too, Abby. Thank you. All right, who's next? Yes, yeah, son, come on. Hi, I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Spencer. Nice to meet you, Spencer. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Mike. Very good, Spencer. Nice to meet you. Go ahead, buddy. What's your question? Uh, my dad knows you. Does he like me? Okay, good. <laughs> so, uh, how does he know me? Do you know, Spencer? You. Okay. Do you have a question for me? That's okay. That's okay. Very good. Very good. Um, uh, yes, Miss. Hi, I'm Mike. Come on up. Yes. Hi, I'm Mike. Nice to meet you, Alex. Nice to meet you, Alex. Go ahead. What's your question, Alex? Uh, when you, um, when your daughter gets married, don't <clears throat> let her put it on the internet. Don't let her put it. You mean the, the, the whole... Because um, my friend, my mom's friend, got married, and she put that on the internet, and when she came home, she couldn't find it. Oh, that's okay. And she got married on the internet. Oh, really? Oh, I see what you're saying. Don't let somebody, somebody know that they're going to be gone. Uh, very good. Very, you know, that's kind of interesting. Why don't, I, why don't I tell you a little bit about my job, uh, and, and that kind of ties in nicely. Um, well, first of all, uh, I am your mayor. Okay? Uh, who is my boss? Governor? Everybody who raised their hand, you're right. It's you. It's you. That's right. No kidding. No kidding. You are, you are my boss. I report to you. Uh, I know that may sound a little unusual, but I report to you. And I report to your moms, and I report to your dads, and I report to your grandmas and your grandpas. I report to you. Uh, I am what is called a public servant. So I am serving you, the public. And I know that sounds maybe a little unusual to you, but, but that, is the, that is the real deal. That is the real deal. I am elected by the people of Sioux Falls, and then if I win, my job is to serve. And that means all kinds of different things. One of the ways that I serve you, uh, and in my mind, it's the number one goal that I'm supposed to have uh, a as your mayor, and that is to keep you safe. <coughs> number one, I have to keep you safe. I have to keep your family safe. I have to keep visitors that come into our town we need to keep them safe as well, okay? So uh, if there's a bad person who tries to rob somebody or hurt somebody, part of my job is to make sure that our police team is really strong uh, so that they can be there to, to help protect you. Uh, if the fire alarms were to go off here, okay, we need that fire truck, which is just right down the road, we need them here as fast as they possibly can to help either uh, help someone who's sick put out that fire or deal with that, with, deal with that emergency. But that's just one of the things that I do in terms of this city is we want to keep you safe, uh, but there's some other things. We need to make sure that the roads are good. Uh, that when you, uh, um, you guys will laugh here probably a little bit, you know when you go to the potty, okay? <laughs> And that bad stuff goes in the potty, okay? Well, when you flush that, that toilet or that potty, okay, that stuff, we need it to go away. And, and I know that sounds, that sounds a little crazy, but that is one of my jobs. That is one of my jobs. 
is to uh, uh, not not only not only uh, not only do you need to make sure that you've got good water to drink, okay, and good water to you know to water your flowers and water your grass and put out the fires, but also we use water also to take some bad stuff away, and uh, and we need to make sure that that's done. Um, the parks, okay, we're here. We're John Harris Elementary, right? We are right up, we're right up against one of the best parks that we've got in our town. So those tennis courts, we need to make sure that those are, those are safe. The pool, that, that, that's a great place to go. That the lawn is mowed, that the trees grow, you know, all those things. Uh, library, where's the library right, by, right near here too? The library, the lights, um, and, and, and so much more. When the snow comes, we gotta remove the snow so that you can come to school. You know, all that stuff. But, uh, but my job is to work with over 1,100 city employees, okay? And what we all do is we work really hard to serve you. And uh, that's just one of, one of uh, the things that we do. But, uh, but I'm, I'm, I love being your mayor, uh, and I wanna make sure that you're safe. And if you're not safe, you need to let us know so that we can help you, so that we can help you. So, uh, that, was, that kind of got me started into a little bit about what, what, what I do, what I do. But uh, so again, thank you. Good job. Good start. Other questions? Yes, Miss. Hi. Hi, I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Mike. We're going to do that one again. We're going to do that one again. Good job. You're going to do it again. And you're going to. I need you to be confident, and I need you to speak loud. She did almost everything just the way I would but I just want her to be even more confident. Here we go. I've never met you before. Watch this. Watch how confident she's going to be. Watch this. Hi, I'm Mike. Nice to meet you, Ariana. Very good, Ariana. Very, Ariana, tell me your question. What's your cat's name? Oh, my cat. <laughs> well, my cat, have you ever seen the movie Titanic? Yes. yes. Okay, okay. The actress in the movie Titanic, her name was... Kate Winslet, okay, this, is, this was quite, quite a while ago. Uh, I guess it wasn't that long ago. Come on, we're not that old. Uh, her name was Kate Winslet. Well, my daughter Kylie, uh, she picked out this, this kitty, and it's crazy. She goes to the, to the store to get this kitty, and there's only one kitty that is laying in the litter box, okay? And that's the kitty that she picked. And uh, uh, she ended up naming uh, uh, her Winnie after Kate Winslet in the movie Titanic. That was her favorite show. So uh, her name is Winnie. So the very good, very good. Yes, son. Hi. Hi, I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Nathan. Nice to meet you, Nathan. Nice to meet you too, Mike. Very, oh, very good. Very, and Nathan, his eye contact was tremendous. He smiled. He just would. Nathan, very good. Ask me your question, son. I don't really have a question. Oh, you just want to. <laughs> very good. <laughs> very good, Nathan. Very good. Uh, no question at all. Well, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Hi. Hi, I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Tristan. Nice to meet you, Tristan. Hi, Mike. Very good, Tristan. You did good. Go ahead, son. Where do I live? I actually live, I don't live too far away from here. Um, I live uh, kind of, you know where Pasley Park is? Okay, what, my home is up, is kind of up in the hills there. So I live really, really close to here. And uh, so I, I drive these roads. Uh, I go to church just right, right up the, the way here at, at, at Holy Spirit. Um, uh, so I know this area very, very well. Um, now, here, here's the deal, though. Even though I live near here, I am responsible, and the 1,100 city employees, we are responsible for every part of our town. I can't just pick a favorite. I can't. I can't say, well, you know what? I'm only going to care about this part of town. You can't do that. Our town, no kidding, our town is about 74 square miles. That's how big our town is. We've got 3,000 lane miles of roadway. Okay? There's 162,300 people that live here. Okay, I need to make sure that we take care of all of that area, 
and not just one select part, Tristan, okay? So even though I kind of live in this part of town, we have to take care of all of the town. Uh, so, so good job, good job. Um, hi, I'm, hi. Hi, I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Zoe. Nice to meet you, Zoe? Zoe. Zoe, nice to meet you, Zoe. Uh, uh, we'll start, we'll try it again. Very good. Now she's correcting me, I love it. Uh, Zoe, come on up, stand up. Hi, I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Zoe. Nice to meet you, Zoe. Nice to meet you, Mike. Very good, very good. Zoe, go ahead. Give me one. How many people live in Sioux Falls? Okay, well, we just mentioned that, but I'll mention it again. We've got 162,300 people that live in our town. And guess how many people are moving into our town every year? Every year. Take a guess. 30? 30? A thousand? Keep going. Very good. Right around 3,000 to 4,000 people are moving into our town every single year. Right now, it's estimated, it's estimated, and see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You ten, the front row, stand up. Stand up, the front row, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stand up, okay? Turn around. These ten people, these ten people, it is estimated right now that we've got ten people, these ten people, We've got 10 people moving into the city of Sioux Falls every single day, okay? Every single day. So this is a, this is a, a unique challenge for our city because there's a lot of cities in South Dakota that are, actually, that are not growing or that are actually getting smaller. In our town, we've got 10 people that are choosing to live in Sioux Falls, South Dakota uh, uh, every single day, they're they're moving in. So, uh, uh, good job. That was a that was a great question. Good job. All right, you can sit down now. Thank you. Thank you. Um, y yes, Miss. Yes. Hi, I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Brooklyn. Nice to meet you, Brooklyn. Nice to meet you. Mike. Very good. Brooklyn, go ahead. Um, what What is your job like? Well, Brooklyn. Um, <laughs> Brooklyn asked, what is my job like? Okay. I, uh, first of all, it, I, probably the thing, the thing that I like about my job the most, uh, and you can put your, your hands down. I'll, I'll, um, the thing that I probably like about my job the most is that every single day, every single day is different. It's unique. Uh, I, I, I meet new people. Uh, I experience new things. Uh, I have to deal with different challenges. Uh, so, it, so it's different. And that makes my life, I think, uh, just more, more thrilling and more enjoyable. Uh, so I'm really, really blessed by, by that. Um, but at the same time, I'm very, very busy. Um, I actually have somebody who schedules my days. Uh, her name is Julie. And Julie tries to fill up my days as much as possible with, with things to do. Uh, because as you can imagine, with 162,300 people, all of you my bosses, you want me to be doing different things. And so that's what, that's what I try to do. You know, um, uh, I, I met this young man at the restaurant, and he said, hey, Mayor, you got to come to John Harris. And so I, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. But I'm very, very busy. I don't have a lot of free time uh, like, like I used to have. Um, but it, but it's, a, it's, a, it's a great job. I, I am signing a stack of paperwork. I'm answering emails. I'm attending meetings. I'm going to public speaking engagements like this. Uh, I'm dealing with challenges you know, issues uh, that I have to deal with. You know what, I'll, I'll tell you about uh, one of the challenges, and because I didn't know what was gonna happen on, on this day, but I'll, I'll tell you one. I'll tell you about one, and it was really, really scary. And I'm not gonna talk about the ice storm. I'm not. That one was scary. 
But I'm going to tell you about another one. I'm going to tell you about another one. I was driving down the road. I just got done with a meeting, and I was driving down the road, and all of a sudden I get this call. Mayor, we've got to get you downtown immediately. And um, <clears throat> so I, I, I was going to go to another meeting, and I said, all right, I'll, I'll just. So I, I got downtown as fast as I could. Came in to City Hall, and uh, this gentleman by the name of Mark Cotter, uh, Mark is in charge of public works for our town. He met me before I could even get into my office. He met me in the hallway. And uh, he grabs me and he says, Mayor, he goes, we've got a major emergency. Um, we have a major, it's called a, a sanitary sewer line. It's a, it's a major. And, and sewer is, you know, all that bad stuff, you know, that we were just kind of laughing about. Yeah, yeah. Well, we had one of the biggest sanitary sewer lines of our town. It had actually, um, um, it had actually, it had collapsed. It had collapsed. So all of the normal sanitary sewer, you know, that bad stuff, <laughs> normally that would be going towards our, our water treatment plant. But in this case, it was clogged, it was blocked, it had collapsed. So all that bad stuff had nowhere to go. And where was it going? It was backing up, it was backing up, it was backing up, it was backing up. Here's, here's the challenge. Mark Cotter said, Mayor, if we don't do something, we are gonna have 25,000 homes in our city are gonna have this really bad stuff coming up through their floors. And, and, and here's the deal, here's the deal. It was gonna go into all of these basements, 25,000 basements. And, and you can only imagine, you can only imagine. Think of, think of one, one toilet here at John Harris. Think of just one toilet maybe overflowing, okay? And, and, and the mess that that, would, that, that, that that would cause. Now imagine 25,000 homes with this sanitary sewage backing up into, into, their, um, into, these, into these, these homes. Well, to make a long story short, to make a long story short, what we did is we uh, immediately, I said, Mark, I go, let's get, let's get all of the TV stations Let's get the newspaper, let's get the radio. I need them at City Hall and I need them here now. And they did, they came. They, they got down to City Hall. We said, we've got an emergency, we need your help. We had all these TV stations, radio, newspaper, they came down. And we basically said, we need your help. You've gotta get the message out to all the people of this town that they, we need their help. They've gotta stop washing their clothes. They need to stop uh, uh, actually taking showers, washing, washing their dishes, because we had to do something to try to stop that water flow from coming through those pipes. Uh, so, so we did that. And at the same time, we brought these massive pieces of equipment up by the prison uh, here in Sioux Falls to try to get at that, bro that broken down pipe. And we're boom, you know, boom, trying to break through that, uh, uh, that, that dirt and that rock to get to that busted pipe. Well, it was really, really hard. One of the toughest decisions that I had to make as your mayor, uh, and it was really, really tough, before we were able to get to that pipe, okay, um, I had to make a really tough decision. And it's one of those that I, I still struggle with today. Um, because I love to hunt, and I love to fish, and I love the outdoors, and, and I'm kind of an environment guru. Uh, you know, to me, things like, you know, grass and trees and water and wildlife, that's a really, really big deal for me. But as your mayor, uh, we had to make a very conscious decision and that was until we got to that pipe, that busted pipe. 
what we had to do is we took that bad water and we actually had to funnel it towards the Big Sioux River. And um, that was really hard. That was really hard. But it was something that, that we made a decision to do to try to protect and keep our people safe. Uh, so we made that decision. And um, uh, ultimately, we were able, first of all, we got great help from the people of Sioux Falls. Great help. They really reduced their consumption of water. So that was a big deal. At the same time, we were able to get to that pipe and bust through it and, and kind of break that down uh, so that, that that bad stuff could, could naturally flow. Um, uh, but we were able to, instead of 25,000 homes with bad stuff in their basement, we had about 1,000 that had bad stuff in their basement. But that's what, that's what makes this job so unique, is that you never know what's going to happen. You never, yeah, I mean, remember that ice storm that we just had? Yeah. Remember that? I mean, I was driving, that was April, what, April, uh, yeah, it was really close. Well, remember, I was just driving to work that day, and I'm going, this seems funny. I mean, there was kind of that, that, that light, misty, uh, and it was 32 degrees, and then it was 32 degrees, more mist, 32 degrees, more mist, and this is not looking good. And you know what happened. It was not good. I mean, we had busted down trees and power lines down and people without. How many of you didn't have uh, power? So about half, that's, that's, uh, that's, that was a scary time. But one of the things that happens is that, uh, is that you have to deal with these things as they come. Uh, so part of me, I know that may, this may but I actually kind of like that stuff. Uh, to me, that's why I'm here, is, is, is try to help us get through these, these tough times, okay? And, uh, and you know, e even at John Harris, we've had some, you've had examples of John Harris where things didn't go just the way that you had, you had, had wanted, but what you do is you figure it out, you work it out as a team, and you get through it, and then the next time something bad happens, you're ready. So that was kind of a long-winded answer. But we're talking a lot about potty today, aren't we? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, well, we won't do it again. Uh, yes, the, uh, the uh, Minnesota, Minnesota, uh, come on up here. The wild, yeah, come on up. Hi, I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Mike. Nice to meet you, Anthony. Very good, Anthony. Go ahead, hit me with your question, buddy. Very good, Very, that's a simple one, good job. Uh, uh, well, I am, I'm kind of a, um, it, if you knew my, my uh, and I don't want to talk too much about this, but when I was running for mayor, the colors I used were the colors of the, of the South Dakota flag, okay? Uh, kind of that blue, that, that sky blue and, and, and the yellow. But my favorite color, I, I do love, I'm a red guy. I love red. So that's my favorite color. That was an easy question. Uh, yes. Yes, hi. How are you? I'm Mike. Nice to meet you, Kira. Thank you, Kira. Go ahead. My wife's name is Cindy, uh, and she's a Yankton girl. Uh, I, I was born, uh, born and raised in Yankton, and um, my wife Cindy was born and raised in Yankton, and uh, we went to uh, um, uh, Yankton High School, and then we went to South Dakota State University, and then after I graduated, then I asked her to marry me, and, and we've been together ever since. Yes, thank you, thank you. Hi, I'm Mike. Nice to meet you, Megan. Thank you, Megan. Thank you. Why did I want to be mayor? <clears throat> That's a good question. Um, Megan, right? Megan. Put your hands down real, real quick. I'm going to, I'll try to, this is third grade, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, and Megan, bear with me here. When I was in fifth grade, so two years from now, okay, um, I lived in a town called Parkston, South Dakota, and uh, uh, the I got a uh, I was in my class, and the principal's office asked me to come down to the principal's office, and so I left the uh, uh, I left my class, went in the principal's office, and my mom, along with my two brothers and my sister were in the, were in the, class, were in the uh, office. 
And basically my mom said, uh, Mike, um, we're leaving and we're moving to Yankton. Um, my mom and dad were splitting up, okay? Uh, they were getting what's called a divorce. And um, we moved to Yankton. And it was, a, it was a really hard time for me. Uh, you know, I, I, was, I, was, I was mad. Um, I, I was sad. Uh, I, I, I was scared. Uh, we, we had very limited uh, fi uh, money. Uh, I, had really, I had really bad buck teeth. Uh, my mom, my mom, Diane, she would cut my hair. Uh, and, and basically she would do it like this. She'd cut my hair, and then like this, and then like this, and then like this. And then she took a contraption with uh, a razor. It was a plastic thing with razor blades in it. And then she'd kind of go, <laughs> well, my hair, when I got done, it looked like I had a helmet. And so the kids would call me helmet head, uh, you know, because of my hair. My grandma, Polly, you know, she'd sew my underwear. She would, uh, uh, my mom would put kind of a, like these red velvet fringe on the bottom of my pants so that they'd last longer. But it, make a long story short, <clears throat> we didn't have a lot of money. We were very poor. Um, and it was a hard time for me. Um, there were even times where, you know, I, you know, why me? You know, why my family? Um, but I entered the speech contest. Megan, you, you're still with me, right? <coughs> Megan, I entered the speech contest when I was in the, the sixth grade. And um, the speech contest was about giving back and, and government and making a difference and, and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, remember, I had bad buck teeth, helmet head for the haircut, grandma sold my underwear. You know, all that stuff. <clears throat> well, my mom helped me with my speech. Um, guess who won the speech contest? You. I did. I did. <clears throat> and it was a real defining moment for me. Um, um, I'm going, you know, okay, maybe, maybe I've got these challenges. Maybe my family is different than other families. Maybe we don't have as much money as others. Uh, maybe I didn't have the coolest clothes uh, or the neatest haircut. Um, or, or maybe I even looked different because of my, my buck teeth or whatever it would be. But to me, it was, it was a defining moment that, you know, I could, I could do whatever I put my mind to. Uh, now, you know, I, I, may have to, I may have to work harder for it. Uh, I may have to study more for it. Um, I may have to pray more for it, whatever it would be. But ultimately, I can do what I, what I think uh, uh, you know, uh, that, that I want to do, that my dreams, my goals. And that was a real defining moment for me. And from there, I, I won that contest. I ended up being the, uh, the president of my junior class at Yankton High School, my senior class, when I was a sophomore at South Dakota State University. I was the vice president of the school, and uh, uh, I had this dream of being in public service, man, a dream. But I wanted to wait until Kylie graduated from Washington High School. And then when Kylie graduated, I, um, um, uh, I, I actually quit my job, and I had a really good job with good friends and good boss, but I quit my job because I wanted to earn, I wanted to uh, try to fulfill this dream. And it was uh, to serve the people. And um, uh, it's been, a, and, and I won. I won. And now I'm your mayor. And now I'm, I'm serving you, and, and I'm, I'm having a great time doing it. So why did I want to do it? Um, uh, it is something that I've been, I've been dreaming about since the sixth grade. Um, uh, and, and serving is something that my mom taught me, my dad taught me, my grandma and grandpa taught me, and so ultimately that's, um, that's why I wanted to do it. Miss, would you stand up? I just want to...
Stand up, please. Yeah, come here, just a, come here. You're just a, do you know how tall you are? No. Okay. Well, remember uh, you had asked about my daughter, Kylie. Okay, and remember she's a, she's a uh, graduate of this school, okay? My daughter, Kylie, uh, she is about four feet, 11 inches high. That's how tall she is. And so I, my gut is that you're right around probably that, that, that height, okay? Well, my daughter, Kylie, uh, my daughter, Kylie, she was a big tennis player, okay? A big tennis player. And she wanted to really uh, do well, so she had to work and practice and do all kinds of different things. Well, she was uh, successful in high school. She had this dream of playing college tennis as well, okay? But she's, only, she's four feet 11, and she was playing against these women in college that were much, much bigger, much, much stronger than, than she was, okay? Kylie ended up being the first four-time all-conference uh, tennis player for her university. So again, the, it, it, and remember I said it didn't matter about you know, your mom and dad or the color of your skin or, or, all, or, or even the, your size. There are a lot of, you, know, you, you don't have to be tall, you don't have to be, to, to, to be successful, okay? But you're going to have to work for it, okay? So thank you. And tell me your name, please. Macy. Nice to meet you, Macy. Nice to meet you, Mike. Macy, do you have a question for me? Mm, what's your favorite Bible verse? I, I got it when you said you went to, you went to, you went to work. Well, let me, let me tell you, the, there is a, I, let me just tell you my favorite prayer. Okay. It's, a, it's a stewardship prayer, okay? And it's basically, it, Lord, help me, help me, um, basically it, it, it's sharing your time, your talent, and your treasure, okay? Uh, and, and that's what it's about. It's giving back. Not only just giving back money, okay, but giving back your time and your talent, uh, making a difference for others, okay? Your, your teachers, okay? Let, let's talk about your teachers just a little bit. Your teachers, your principal, uh, things like that. Guess what? If they wanted to make more money, if they wanted to make more money, they could have done it choosing a different profession. They could have did something different. But what they did is they said, no, I want to give my time and my talent to others, especially young people like yourself. Uh, that was more important to them than just making a ton of money. And uh, so that, that's kind of um, what, what that prayer is, is all about, mm -hmm. is giving back, making a difference. And that's probably, that's a pretty important one for me. So thank you, thank you for asking me that. Yeah, good job. Uh, yes, Miss, thank you. Hi, I'm Mike. Hi, I'm CJ. Nice to meet you, CJ. Nice to meet you. Thank you, CJ. Question. Oh, my favorite food. Okay. Well, I love food. Okay, I love it. Uh, there's just about, I, I, I can't think of much that I, can't, I don't like to eat. Um, in fact, I shouldn't say it, should I? Uh, I well, I, I told you I'd be, I'm not, I, I'm not a big fan of liver. Uh, I just, I don't know. I, and, and my mom, my mom and my grandma, they could make liver look so good. You know, it, I, just, oh, it looks so good, but I just couldn't eat it. I, I couldn't eat it. But my favorite, I love all kinds of food. If I had to have a favorite, um, I am a uh, thin, crispy crust, extra pepperoni pizza guy. But I, I love it. I love that. Thin crust, uh, uh, you know, extra, extra cheese. Oh, I love, I love. But I, I, love, I love all kinds of foods. I love all kinds of foods. Uh, oh my goodness, with the big eyes. Yes. Hi, I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Mike. What, uh, I'm sorry. I am. Camden. Oh, nice to meet you, Camden. Thank you, Camden. Go right ahead. Do you, have any, do you ever have days off of work? Well, Camden, thank you. Uh, Camden asked, do I have any days off of work? You know, uh, um, officially, yes. Uh, I would say that I do have a... a, a 
some days off work, but unofficially, no. I'm always thinking about this role. I'm always thinking about these people. I'm always thinking about the issues of this town. So uh, I don't sleep very well. I don't. Um, and, and others, others um, um, they, they don't need me. I, two nights ago, this, this actually happened two nights ago. Um, um, I actually had been sleeping on the couch for like three days. Uh, really, I was struggling sleeping. And um, uh, I said, no, I'm going to sleep in my bed tonight. And uh, went to bed at 1030. And I was out like, like, just out like a light. All of a sudden, my phone rings. And um, it was 11 o'clock uh, at night. And it was a, um, a citizen of Sioux Falls who had a, um, an issue. And she wanted me to fix it at, at 11 o'clock at night. <clears throat> and uh, uh, you can understand, um, Camden, that um, um, I was probably not the most happy doing that. But it, it, it kind of goes to show you, no, you don't have time off when you're the mayor, when you're the governor, when you're the president. You don't really have time off. Uh, you're always thinking of the people that you serve and, and those things like, like that. Um, and guess where I slept after the phone rang? The couch. The couch. <laughs> the couch. I went back to the couch, shut my door. I apologized to Cindy, my wife. Um, she went, you know, hopefully she slept. Um, but I did shut the door. Uh, and, and then I went back and slept on the couch. Um, so I, I've told you folks a lot of stuff today. I tell you, I tell you. Uh, yes, Miss. Hi, I'm Mike. And, and right there. Yes, you. Yes. And how are we doing for time? Uh, four minutes. Left. Four minutes. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Maddie. Nice to meet you, Maddie. Nice to meet you, Very good. And Maddie. Oh my, Maddie. Come here. You got to see this. Okay. Go back over there, Maddie. Here we go. Hi, I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Maddie. Nice to meet you, Maddie. Nice to meet you, Maddie. Very good. I mean, I am so proud of you. I am so proud of you. I mean, um, Maddie was engaging with me. She was looking at me. She was, had this, this confident, uh, uh, just beautiful smile. And it really made me feel like, hey, she wants to meet me, and I, I want to meet her. I am so proud of all of you. Uh, for the way that you've treated me today. Thank you. Um, it's been wonderful. So you got to ask me a tough question. Go ahead. Do you know the mayor of Brandon? Yes, I do. Larry Beasley? Larry Beasley. He's my he used to be my only teacher. Mayor, mayor, well, will you tell him hi for me? Yes. Okay, will you see him at all? Yeah, I sometimes go there. Okay. Will you tell Mayor Beasley hi for me? He's an old friend of mine. Mayor Beasley, I think, has been the mayor for well over 20 years. Uh, in Sioux Falls, I can be your mayor for up to eight years, OK? Um, I've been your mayor for four years. And I'm going to try to earn the honor to be your mayor for another four years. But then after that, uh, if, if I were to earn the honor, uh, I'm not saying that, I, that it's going to happen, but if I were to earn that honor, in Sioux Falls, you're only allowed to serve two four-year terms. Then you got to stop, okay? Then you, you can take a break and come back and do it again. But that's the rules of Sioux Falls. In Brandon, it's different. But in Sioux Falls, it's, it's two four-year terms, two four-year terms, okay? Good. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, uh, come on. Yes. Yes. Hi, I'm Mike. You can be second. We'll have you be next. Miss, come on up too. We'll have you, because we're running. Come on up here too. Yeah, come on. Son, come here. I think this may be our last two questions. I'm so sorry. So sorry. Hi, I'm Mike. Nice to meet you, Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. Go ahead. The Paulson family? There's a number of Paulson families. 
Tom, I, I, I think I do. I think I do. Oh, do you have a question for me? No. Okay. Not really. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, will you tell them hi for me? Yeah. Well, that's one of the challenges, too, is that I do meet so many people that I can't remember all of them. Even though I, I, I try to remember names, I try to, I, I, I can't remember all of them. Uh, and, and, uh, but I'd love, I, I'm trying, I'm trying. So uh, will you tell them hi for me? Thank you, thank you. Hi, I'm Mike. Hi, I'm Alyssa. Nice to meet you, Alyssa. And nice to meet you. Very good, proud of you, nice job. What's your question? Mm. That's a good, that's, well, she asked, why did that lady call you at 11 o'clock at night, okay? <clears throat> this person uh, had some real challenges in her life, and uh, she was really going through a really, really hard time, and she was, she was uh, desperate. Uh, she was scared, and she basically was looking for a place to sleep. And um, um, there are people in our town, even though we're one of the strongest communities in America. We are. Uh, we're a great community. But there are still challenges in our town uh, that, that I can't fix all of them uh, as, as fast as I, I'd like or, or we can't. We actually have people in our town that are what we call homeless. They, they don't have a place to live. And so these challenges are things that we're still working on to make our community better. And the hard, one of the hardest parts of my job is that Sometimes, no matter how hard we try as a town to, to help everybody, you're still going to get people who are going to struggle. Um, but also, one of the things that, that maybe I'll, I'll leave you with this thought is that when you do leave, for example, you're, you're a teacher, or you're a football coach, or you're a principal, or you're a mom and dad, or you're the mayor, Sometimes we have to do things as leaders uh, because we think it's the right thing for, 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 uh, for the people that we're, we're leading. But what happens is that as much as your teacher wants you to like her or your, your coach wants you to like him or her or this mayor wants you to like him, every time that we make a decision, some people are going to be really mad at us every single time and that's hard that's hard but but it's still important we need you young people to develop to become leaders we need you we need you um, um, uh, young young ladies in the room if you come to City Hall okay if you come to City Hall I'll take you into uh, the old council chambers and you're going to see rows and rows of pictures of mayors of Sioux Falls. And my picture's up there as well. Okay? But guess what? There are pictures of what? Mayors. What, what are all the mayors of our town? What have they all been? Boys. They've been boys. We have more women that live, we have more women and girls that live in this town than we do boys and men. We need even more women leaders, okay? We do, we do. So, uh, you know, we, we, that's what they're trying to do with John Harris. They want you to be good citizens, they want you to be good students, but they're also trying to teach you to be good leaders and lead. Uh, so, uh, it, but, it, but it's tough. You, you can't solve every problem, uh, and, and even when you do try, there's still people who are going to be mad at you because you're, you're the leader. Well, um, I actually went over time, uh, but I was having so much fun that, that uh, I, I, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if, if you'll invite me back, 
I'd love to come back. Uh, I want to I want to thank you for meeting me in the restaurant that day, and having the confidence to invite me to John Harris. I hope I did okay. I hope I did okay. And again, I, I want to thank you all. Thanks for treating me with such kindness. Take care. <laughs>